Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Advanced Logic, and welcome back to Tales of Graces F, the future arc. He's probably sweating in that outfit. He's yeah, he's probably. nothing but black. <laughs> and he's also in a jungle, which is probably making it more human. Watch out for George in the, the jungle. jungle, the mighty jungle. No. I was gonna say, I was gonna do a George of the Jungle reference, but okay. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> George, George, Watch George of the Jungle, God. strong as he can be. <laughs> you see, Aspel dresses as George of the Jungle. <laughs> Watch out for that god! What? Oh god! Watch out for the god! <laughs> the, the man-made god. Probably filled with concentrated or something. Look at that. I've never seen peaceful monsters before. You want to go eat some rabbits? Yep, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some rabbits. All right. Uh, that watermelon, I <laughs> wanted. Is that watermelon <laughs> real? <laughs> you don't want to be alone, do you? Huh? Someday, all of these people will be gone. It will be sad. It will be frightening. Help me. I don't know what to do. But we will soothe your troubled heart. Forever. What? We. All of us. We will take the place. Of your pain. Let us spend eternity. Together. Together? And they exploded. The end. <laughs> da 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 da. Uh, except oh that no, one. all my shadow clones are gone. gone. Now I'm gone. <laughs> no, we're not, doing any was of gone. we're not doing any of that. <laughs> yeah, that was the game being uh, deep. Was it some kind of deep illusion? my ass? But it felt so real. Ew. Ew. <laughs> they pulled right out of it. That came off as on. Oh my ass! <laughs> 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 they pulled it out of Get ass. away! <laughs> get, get away! The watermelon's taking control. <laughs> Melon so hungers. Cool. The must <laughs> harvest. <laughs> I was making a reference to a lane, but okay. <laughs> it, it doesn't help that she's holding her head right now, too. It's almost as if the watermelon really is trying to control her brain at the moment. <laughs> she's waiting for me. Please, Asbel, I have to talk to her. I can't stop thinking about what she said. All right, let's go. What? And so, I like how I like how Apple's just staring there. I was like, "The oh, hell just happened!" <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that that really happened, did it? Uh, that just had to happen. And welcome to this clusterfuck of a maze. I think I remember this one. Oh, I remember this now. <laughs> uh, fuck this maze. Fuck it hard. I fucking hate it. The first time I played through this, I got lost for a good hour. Where's a lumberjack when you need one? Oh, wait. Uh, I don't know, why can't you just torch the place down? <laughs> I wish, but we don't I'm have a sorcerer's ring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's that monster from before. He just ate bunnies. Yep. God damn it. He's like, I just ate some bunnies and I'm all rested up. I just ate some bunnies and ready to kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> so you've beaten all of Lineage and Legacy before this. this, right? Yeah, I already have everything recorded. Now we just gotta commentate on it all. Oh. No, I meant before you recorded this. Oh, one. yeah. This when you originally recorded this, this was blind. Oh, no, this isn't blind. This isn't blind at all. Like, uh, in fact, I beat Lineage and Legacies one month before I even started this Let's Play as a whole. Who would do, who would do an RPG blind? Shift the eyes. Oh, uh, that would be... <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said shift the eyes. <laughs> well, technically yours is semi-blind, so it doesn't really count as a blind. That's why I, Again, that's why I said shift the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Semi-shift the eyes. Meanwhile we, ha meanwhile, we have the little chibi bear over there. 
can't do smack talk if my phone yeah. kill me. And random thunderblade out of nowhere. Oh, no, uh, I'm gonna kill this. <laughs> oh god, it's claw bears again. <laughs> oh, it's the baby claw bears. <laughs> they may as well be. <laughs> they kind of look, the, they kinda look like as well just rushed up a punch in the face. <laughs> and why are you dead? Bam! Now you are. <laughs> and why is Asbel using a bamboo sword? And honestly, I think looking back now, I I don't know if it was just me or something, but it the game does give you hints on how to go through this puzzle. Like you see those butterflies right there? You just gotta follow them. Oh, so it, so it's sense. the Amir Forest again. Great. Pretty much. You just gotta look for the butterflies, go in the direction at which they're fluttering, and you're good. Thing is though, there's a bunch of like optional stuff that you could go for. But it's just so fucking confusing as to how to get to it. At least, at least unlike Yimir Forest. Wow, I look Forest, lazy. <laughs> at least unlike Yimir Forest, you don't have to go through the whole dungeon instead of just reaching into a lake to pick up a piece of goddamn fruit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking Lloyd! Hey, hey, my best friend who can fly, why don't you just fly over there and pick it up? No, I just want to see, I just want to watch it float. <laughs> Some people just want to watch the world burn. Yep. Oh, I cannot wait until Super Gaming Brothers gets that far and Matt complains yeah, playing, about yeah, playing, Matt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, <laughs> they've you done that already. Wings, just they did that huh? already. They've already complained well, I mean, enough. When they actually get there, they oh, when they get enough. to the Ymir Forest, you mean? He's mentioned that that's what happens because he's just like I'm not. I can't. I can't hold it in. Has just got to say like you know, Colette has wings and she's not using them. Just for the just for the sake of it being a dungeon, we can't use them, and it pisses me off. <laughs> He's not wrong. Anyway, He's not wrong at all. Anyway, uh, what was I? What was I gonna mention about this freaking dungeon? Oh, oh, and there is something else completely optional that you could do here because. What you gotta do is you gotta go looking around for seeds that you gotta feed this one giant bear that's protecting like two treasure chests. Thing is though, I never find all of them. I never could find all of them. Because they're so, so fucking annoying to figure out how to get to. Huh. And you used a Did you use a walkthrough? No, I did not use a walkthrough. I thought I could do it all on my own, and that's why it took the, the whole freaking hour to figure out this goddamn dungeon. You know, there's no shame in looking at a walkthrough to find optional stuff. Never! That's how I found out about the, uh... Actually, I forget what I found out about. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I, I found that I found one out thing. About something, I found out about something in my room, but I forgot about it. Yeah, like, that's how I found out that one thing. You, you yes, know that Jerry. thing? It yes, Sherry. Yes, important. Sherry. Just pick up a rock and throw it. That'll definitely help. <laughs> hey, stone throw is a, hey, stone throw is a skill you get in Final Fantasy Tactics. It sucks, but it's, it's a tactics. skill. <laughs> that's something Abe would think. That's something... This goes to show that Abe from Abe's Odyssey is more useful than Sherry. <laughs> That's, that's pretty sad. Not to mention, I think in Nino Kuni there is a skill called Stone Throw, but thing is though, it's actually useful. It's a pretty hard hitting attack. That is a giant bear. Yeah. And you're for some reason. Yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah, you see those chests right there? The bear is blocking it, you can't get past him, but he's hungry. So, what you gotta do, and how very convenient if you go down here, you open this up, you find an otherworldly seed. Why does a bear want seeds for? I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. How about you just eat sherry instead, and you can just let us pass through? Hey, look! Because then you wouldn't have a healer. Hey, look a chicken. I have, from Pe I have Sophie. Line. But isn't Sherry a better healer? Well, Sophie's a single target healer, but she's a healer nonetheless, and I think I prefer her over Sherry, honestly. You prefer you prefer the Persea copy paste over? Okay, yeah, I get your point. <laughs> <laughs> They're both equally pointless. <laughs> I'm just choosing the lesser of two evils. The lesser of two just evils. Like, you just like Sophie because she looks like Hatsune Miku. <laughs> no, that's and I can make, that's opaque. And I can at least have a laugh with her. <laughs> no, that, that's opaque. Yeah, that too. It doesn't help that it, it doesn't help that she has a Hatsune Miku alternate outfit. Yeah, I <laughs> no, think it's it doesn't. Japan, and I think though. and I think there's also costumes for a, a dot hack. Yeah, I think so too. Probably. Yeah, there is because I think like. Wait, wait, I don't get back here. You just kill. I think you just has, like, the invisible wall. costume or something. Yeah, sometimes like you, see, you could easily tell that there are invisible walls right there. But sometimes when you walk into certain spots, an invisible wall will either pop up right in front of you or behind you. And if it pops up behind you, then you get teleported somewhere else. And you're like, where the fuck am I now? You know, game. It's like Stargate. Maps are a thing. <laughs> no, no. This is like, no. This is like Stargate. It's like, this is thing. almost exactly like Stargate. It's like you're going through a gate, you have no idea where you're going, then you, uh, you suddenly end up in Egypt. 
Anyway, eradication bloom, everybody. And aftermarket upgrades. This better give me fire Look. powers. Look at the giant flower. I sure wish hey, I Hey, Sherry, could let's throw you in there. See if it eats you. Sophie. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> bigger. I imagine it might have. No, it, 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 no, it ends up growing into otter. Really? Hey, yo. You rang? Sophie wants to get bigger. <laughs> That's easy. You Throw a mushroom at it. Feet tall by the time I'm done with you. <laughs> that face. <laughs> That's Dunker face. <laughs> Fifty foot Here. tall Sophie. Clothes anymore. That is your reason. And it also doesn't help that Sherry is like freaking out. It's right one's now. A, <laughs> uh, there's one thing you're missing this. here. It's one size fits all. Keep her small and just make her eyes. Yeah. Are laser beams fun? Definitely. I specifically <laughs> asked for sharks <laughs> with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Cyclops Sophie with a rocket punch. I fund it. Rocket punch. <laughs> rocket punch. Air so, raid. Some, so Cyclops. So Cyclops merged with a sentinel now. Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> Air raid. Days of Future Past makes so much more sense now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking apocalypse! Yes. Spoilers! <laughs> Apologize for the spoilers, but I am so fucking excited for apocalypse. I think we all are. <laughs> They've been. They should have. They should have been hinting towards that since the very first X Men. They've already movie. confirmed Thanos is gonna be in uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, so. Oh, yeah. Well, Thanos is Marvel's universe of Satan, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for one. Of, I'm still waiting for one of Shinnok's special moves from Mortal Kombat to show up in this game. Like that, just a random skull hand comes out of the ground, and just grabs a character, and it drags it under. <laughs> also, if you guys That's are noticing, also if you're if, if you guys are noticing right now, I'm all, I also have this one art that uh, that got introduced in Lineage and Legacies. It's called Shatter Steel Swarm. Huh. It's, meanwhile, it's a, some, it's, meanwhile, it's a semi projectile attack. <laughs> it's kind of like a semi projectile attack because it attacks right in front of you, and if you use it again right after using it, then it does kind of like an uppercut sort of thing on any enemies that are surrounded by it. Oh, there. Th yep. Thank you, game. That looks more like a mystic card. And that's just a second. Yeah. The other one looks like something from just freaking DBZ. The first DBZ. just seem to go by way too fast, and they don't seem flashing. Like, well, normally I don't. Normally I'm not the kind of person to say things should look flashy, but the very first Mystic Arts just didn't look like Mystic Arts. Well, that it's sort of kind of the point, considering how early you get them in the game, because I think you can get them at least a quarter of the way through the game, and we're like, yeah, it's too, e it's too, it's too soon for you to be getting Mystic Arts, so we're just gonna power them down and. Like some make them flashier than the usual art, but not as flashy as later ones. Turn them into super moves from turn them into super moves from fighting games. It just it just seems pointless to call them mystic arts when you get four when you get three different versions of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so waiting for Pac-Man to just throw out class for no reason. So if you guys noticed right now, I walked into this area and then this freaking invisible wall right here, and I'm forced back into this area one. Mod bot, mod bot. Fucking hate this dungeon. Oh look, Tales of uh, Legendia. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's that game that my roommate in college beat in one week. Hey, <laughs> hey look, who cares? And no, he literally rented that. He literally rented Legendia and beat it in a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna call Hades at this point. Hey, look, who cares? <laughs> oh, oh it's that chicken I from really Face Star Online. Made a sequel. I, oh, shit. I really wish they would make a sequel to They're that not game, going but to. the more I think about it, the more I realize they would probably ruin it. <laughs> How can they ruin something that's already so effed up beyond belief? <laughs> no, no, no. So, I mean, no, so, no. I'm like, I wish Sakurai would make a sequel to Kid Icarus Uprising, but. I'm worried that even if he did try to do it, he would ru it would get it would ruin it. Somehow. How would that get? How would it get ruined? Well, people would probably compare it to the first one and saying just like, oh. Consider considering Hades has no body anymore, he can't really come well, they back. They can come up with they can come up with some they can come up with some stupid excuse. He even to do flat it. out says in the ending, I can't even come back. I don't even have my own body anymore. I can't even take over the world, even if I tried to. He's like, oh well, they'll find a way. They'll find a way to bring it back another twenty five years. <laughs> uh, we're sorry. Kid we're Icarus sorry that the Kid Icarus Four and Twenty 
Kid Icarus 4 and in no, no, I, hate to, I hate to interrupt. I hate to interrupt you, but I want to say this, folks. We apologize for the we apologize for this being way off topic. But this this dungeon is boring, and we have nothing to talk about for it. So screw it. We hate it. It hates that, our guts. Yeah, we get sorry. we so we ignore it. Yeah, it hates us. We hate it. I I myself especially hate this goddamn dungeon. So uh, and get keep, Icarus, everybody. And keep <laughs> yeah, yeah. And keep in mind keep in mind Logic is editing as much of this out as he possibly can. And it's still confusing as all fuck. Look at this! Where the fuck am I? We were at the same point, I want point that blue too. chest. Where the fuck? Why the fuck? Why doesn't this make any sense? <laughs> Although now I have a psychological complex. Every time- Insert Rocco bus driver rage here. <laughs> Get back on the bus! <laughs> no! And indignation. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that looked oh, really God. crappy compared. So, earlier. I now have a psychological complex. Every time I see blue chests now, I think bravely the fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw. I actually. Ugh. I did see. I did catch uh, indignation right there. That looked really crappy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. So like, it, compared hey, to the previous old... versions of indignation, it's it's it looks weak, and I think it is a little weaker. I mean, honestly, it doesn't even like stagger most enemies. If even if they get hit by it. And Symphonia usually resulted in a one-hit kill. Well, it's it's the fact that it's gone downhill ever since, like like you said, Symphonia. Like in, the, in Fantasia, it was heralded as the most powerful spell in the game, which was a bullshit lie, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it was only it only worked again. It only did God super, damn it! It only did a lot of damage <laughs> against. Uh, no, it would have it would have been fine, but no, they have Meteor Storm, which is far superior in lot, every way. It than did a lot. Of <laughs> it did a lot of damage against uh, Douse, but that was pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it only counted towards Dao's first fight. Because after, after that, he's like, oh, I just learned to, you know, not suck when getting hit by indignation. I got a thunder cape. <laughs> <laughs> not to mention, like, I think in uh, in later games, like, whenever he makes a cameo, like, I remember in Tales of Hesperia, like, the PS3 version, when you fight Dao's with Rita, and you have her use thunder... And if she, if she used Thunderblade mm. enough times, and she uh, tries casting it while in over limit, then she ends up using indignation, and one hit kills Dao's with it. <laughs> Say, this shouldn't work anymore. <laughs> Keeper of the lore. I wonder if the person who's been calling out to Sophie is up ahead. I wonder too, but more than that, I'm just eager to find out who it is. Maybe it's Conchatus from the Flotillion. Conch? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> He's a super evil, super scary shell man that controls humans with his electrowave powers. A uh, shell man? Ugh. And you know what? He's the boss of the Flotillion. Both of you, stop! What's wrong, Hubert? First of all, it isn't Conchatus. It's Conchider. Secondly, in the Sunscreen Ranger universe, the villains are not shell men. They are Shellians. Oh, right. I forgot Little Bro is such a big fan of the Sunscreen Uh, Rangers. good old Power Ranger Conchider references. Is not the boss of the Flotillion. He's the boss <laughs> and apparently Hubert really, Rangers really likes this show. Hey, I don't blame him. I, I have, have friends who still do. Yeah. Japan's just really, really big on the Super Sentai Series. thing. <laughs> I have yeah. friends who are still fans of Power Rangers. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm not saying Power Rangers is bad. I'm just, like, saying, I'm like, yeah, you wouldn't expect that of Hubert. Him being, like... Uh, no, Taku, oh, that Him sort of thing. Him being a fan of Super he Sentai. He needs something. <laughs> he needs something. I am the. I am the only serious. I am the only serious character in this game. That's the joke. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it. Just because she was turned around. <laughs> Alright, guys, I give you a chance right here. Who disturbs that circle? Come on. Bullshit! Come on. I said bullshit. Humans. Oh, that's a big surprise! That's an incredible... I think I'm gonna have a heart attack 
I, I imagine the party's reaction is a mix of both Iago's and Jafar's. Just like hit Jafar's face. He's just like. I think oh. that's. I think that's what I like most about that clip is just the fact that Jafar's just like. Oh, shut the fuck up already! That's your did it. <laughs> Don't get <tip> me. <laughs> And one failed attempt later, here's the fight with the little queen. That, that All good. 12 of them. Every time I see that, I, I think back to that one part. Like, we will survive. Wait, how many, Remember how many those say, words, Dad. Logic, how, many, <laughs> how many did you say there was? 12. We're only fighting like three or four at a time, but it's 12 little queens that we're fighting, guys. So the same amount of, so the same amount of little queens is the same amount of aliens as in Alien Resurrection. No wonder this sucks. Uh. <laughs> Call the Avengers, they'll deal with this shit. So anyway, I'm trying to face my in I'm trying to remember get my memory of the little queen, but from what I can remember, she is a very fast attacker. Some of them can use magic, some of most of which can freaking stun the crap out of you, of course. And they can attack really fast, they could gang up on you, and if they gang up on you, you are absolutely fucked. I was I'm disappointed, Namco. I was expecting a I was expecting little queen as in the big queen from alien from the alien series. <laughs> I mean, seriously, would that wouldn't that be awesome to see? Also, they all have a mystic really art with, that one of but them then can really start with two Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, mystic art. Yep. And if any one of them hits you in while they're in Elith Break, then any one of them can activate the mystic art. Even if they're not, even if the one that hits you isn't an Alice break. Yeah. Well, regardless, you're fighting against three of the same enemies. So if any one of them hits any one of your party members, your whole party gets hit with the freaking Mystic card. <coughs> bullshit. <coughs> uh, so I'm much sorry. Bullshit. I was my throat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm allergic to bullshit. <laughs> the good Jerry thing is though, Sherry activates the PSO PTSD. Like the good thing is though they barely PMS, have like ten, like they barely have about ten to twelve thousand HP each, so they're kind of easy to take down if you manage to focus your efforts on one at a time. But if they get all gang up on you, you're fucked. I just have to say, you can't completely blame Symphonia Two for being bad because this came game later. Game That's the problem. <laughs> but it's mo it's all Namco's decision. They're the ones that fucked up. You can't really blame the game for the creators fucking up. Oh, I still yeah. can blame the game because the creators, but the cr with the creators effing up, that's their fault too. Yeah. That's the game's fault too. <laughs> but they don't learn from their mistakes of Symphonia 2, and it transferred into this game. Oh yeah, yeah I, I think that was. Uh... I think I blame Team Destiny. Let's put it that way. Everybody blames Team Destiny. <laughs> That's a more logical conclusion. That's a logical conclusion. Blame Team Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Though I don't know if Team Destiny was responsible for Symphonia. Yes, they were. Team Destiny, you may you may come up with some innovative battle systems, but your stories kind of suck. Yes, they do. Then that would explain why Symphonia 2 was such a good yep. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, but Story actually both but actually both 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 things God damn it. were bad. Son of a fucking piece of shit. Actually, but oh actually, God, I want to say this, both, that's, that's for both for Symphonia 2, both items were bad. That's what made it a bad game in general. I like how I dodge and I still get killed. Yeah. The, the biggest problem is apparently half of Namco Bandai doesn't know how to make a good JRPG. No, yeah. it's that they, no, so it's that they don't it? have competent writers. Let's put it that way. So why does the second? So why does half of Tail Studio suck at making? A <laughs> they should just completely shut down. Studio so Destiny yeah, like, they you don't see that? Do shit. Like, two of them are alone are enough to take Asbel down with relative ease. Maybe you need to grind to level 200. No. Eh, fuck that! <laughs> and you guys see, she has I'm not even doing that. Vortex not, I don't attack. even do that. Are you nuts? <laughs> Dragon Balls, make the... Dragon Balls, make it so that this goes by faster. Come on, Shenron. Oh, damn it. He's like, oh, that's out of my power. You're on your own there. Fuck. It's like, it's like oh. I would make this game go faster, but it is out of my power. I can't deal with that much suckage. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Apparently, according to Team Four Star, they could have easily just completely skipped the entire Saiyan saga by asking Shenron to have Nappa and Vegeta fly into the sun. Something like that. Actually, actually, you, funny you bring that up because I believe one of Tenkaichi's um, "What If" stories has rats doing that exact thing. What the fuck? <laughs> Um, in one of the what-if stories, uh, uh, I'll, I'll speak it during, after the, uh, cutscene here. Yeah. I think, like, they wish to have him 
kill Nappa and Vegeta, but he says he can't physically kill them. But that doesn't that doesn't mean that's not stopping them from wishing for them to go into a scenario where they die. <laughs> I'll explain I'll explain Rancis what if after the cutscene. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love this cutscene. Yeah, I know. Oh Jesus. You get... Yeah, I remember this. Uh... Oh look, there's more of them. There's no end to them. A fucking course. Sophie, no, come back. Come, child. We I knew we should have gotten rid of that watermelon. All of us. We will ease your loneliness. Stay with us. Forever. An eternity. Without sadness. Eternity without sadness. Sophie, no! <laughs> uh, shit, you fucked up, Asbel. Humans. Don't. Oh, this is bad. Die. I'm just gonna assume they're dead, and I'm just gonna teleport out of here. When did they learn the ability to teleport? Not Little Queen, I mean everybody else. What kind of shit is this? What? This is bullshit. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> <It's good. laughs> I have to admit, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh, what was that clip you from? Used I don't even know. I just found that on YouTube. I'm like, I'm throwing it in. You should have used the bullshit song. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I re oh, oh, I think I remember. What? I think that was from Fringe. Child of Fodra. She's waiting. Come on, Sophie. Ominous glowing eye. Code Geass, I command you. Okay. Sophie. Whoa. Go make this game not suck. I like how <laughs> what do you mean you're immune to my power? I like how the okay I like how the okay looked like an emotion count for wine eyes. Anyway. <laughs> like what do you mean I can't tell you to make this game not anyway, suck? Anyway, I wanted to say I wanted to say about um oh crap. Eh, don't worry about this. They're just saying, okay, we're going back. Okay. Anyway, uh, Raditz is what if. Basically, he loses his memory just like Goku did. He hits his head on something, and he, befri he befriends what Goku, finds out his backstory, and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go into space and kill Vegeta and Nappa. <laughs> oh, Vegeta and Nappa by running into their spaceship with my own. What the, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> How does that and even the work? And because of that, the entire Saiyan second never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Then that should also mean that Frieza never Yeah, pretty happened. much. Because Frieza never learned Because <laughs> then Frieza would never learn about the Namekian Dragon Balls. Yeah, pretty Ball. much. <laughs> God damn it. So the entire series of Dragon Ball never yeah. happened. That's the entire point of the what if. <laughs> God damn that it. That sounds beautiful to me. <laughs> Tenkaichi 2 had a lot of what ifs that were hilarious. Like Zarbon, <laughs> like Zarbon betraying Frieza right. because he wasn't pretty <laughs> enough. To tell us as to. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> with that, like with that, next time on Tales of Graces F the Future Arc, we're going back to Tell Us As To. Or something. See you guys then. And there better be something more interesting, otherwise we'll go on more tangents. And more what ifs.